15th of August 2024 and it is A-level results day. I honestly have no idea what's going through my head right now. It's currently 6.56 and I get my results officially at 8 o'clock but I don't really know how I'm doing it yet. Currently my plan is that I'm going to be checking my UCAS application to see if I've got into my university first and then if I haven't I will then have to open my results to go into clearing but if I have I think I'm going to wait and get my results at school and then bring them back home um, on like the piece of paper because I don't know I just feel like I'd much rather open on the paper than on my computer because like, on my computer it just feels a bit weird opening my level results I don't know so it's all going to be banking on if I get into university or not where and when I open my A-level results either way I will open them with you guys because you guys have kind of been on the whole A-level journey on here and on my TikTok as well I got the worst night's sleep last night I've honestly not been like that nervous building up to the day I haven't really thought about it like yesterday I felt fine but I just slept so bad like I don't know why I didn't think that I would but I slept really really badly I woke up at like three o'clock and I've been awake ever since so yeah so I've woken up this early to just give myself time to get ready and you know make myself look a bit more presentable I hope that you guys enjoy watching this A level results day vlog I'm going to start off by doing my makeup this morning because I'm going to be doing my hair in a slick back bun so I need to make sure that my makeup is done before I do that because I always have like a line here if I've done it with my hair done already I'm also going to make a quick TikTok just saying happy results day everyone because trauma bonding on TikTok is a real thing okay we've posted so let's get this makeup on my face I also haven't picked out an outfit yet so maybe I should do that before I get my makeup on I don't know what to wear. The weather's like kind of depressing. It's quite cloudy and grey at the moment. I'm going to chat to you guys a little bit whilst getting ready about today. So as of right now, whether or not I get the grades that I need for my top choice, I am secured a spot at uni because I got an unconditional offer from Bath, which basically means that it doesn't matter what grades I get, I've got in. But that being said, I am going to be going into clearing or my dream uni if I don't get in because that is like the only place that I actually want to go to. Currently I need BB and distinction and that's what I was predicted so fingers crossed we didn't fumble it. I will tell you guys what my university is if I get in. Obviously I don't want to tell you guys unless I do get in but it's my dream course. It's musical theatre with film acting which is like everything that I want to go into and it was literally like the best uni in the country for that course. As far as my exams went, I actually can't remember how they went. I feel like it got to the stage where I was getting so tired that I just kind of made myself a bit delusional that they had gone really, really well. For those of you who might be new to my channel, I did Psychology, A-Level and then B-Tech Performing Arts. So, two A-Levels and a B-Tech. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. We've got 53 minutes to go. The main reason why I don't want to open my results until I've got the paper and come home is because I don't want to have to deal with people asking me what I got in the exam hall. Because like, if you open them at home, everyone is always asking like, what did you get? What did you get? And I just don't want to deal with that today. I just want to be able to open them at home with my mum and with you guys. Obviously, everyone will know once this video comes out, but I just don't want to have to like do that whole what did you get situation because I feel like it's just so degrading because if you're happy with your results and then someone else comes and they're like, oh yeah, I got three stars, you'll be like, you know, worse about yourself. I just don't think it's worth, worth it. I thought you made myself look a bit too brown here. On a more positive note, we're having quite a good makeup day, which always like sets the mood. We're having a good makeup day, that means it's gonna be a good day. It's just really annoying that it's so cloudy today because it was really nice yesterday and then it's meant to be really nice for the rest of the week. So typical that results day is that one day in the week where it's raining. Because me and my mum were meant to be going to this like field of flowers today, which is meant to be so nice, but I don't think we're going because it's like it's gonna rain. Right, we're gonna sort out this mess. I'm gonna do a nice slick back bun, but I'm just probably gonna beat it up for you guys and not talk to you because I think I'm just blabbering at this point. So I'm gonna get my laptop, we're gonna pop some friends on. <laughs> my hair is actually worked first time which is like such a rare occasion but on the downside it is only 25 pounds so I think I might just go downstairs and have some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything yet I'm, like, I'm quite hungry but I'm just going to quickly go and tidy up my room a bit because I need to put those clothes away from gym last night okay I've tidied up those clothes that were behind me that's I need to do a haul of all this stuff that's why it's still there but I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast it's now 36 
So I've got long to go, but I'm gonna have my usual just shreddies for practice. It is two minutes before I receive my application from UCAS. To see whether or not I have got into my first choice theme university. I have a feeling that it's gonna take a while because everyone's gonna be logging on at the exact same time. One minute to go. I'm actually still in my pajama bottoms as well. Got it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I haven't opened my A-level results yet and I'm not going to until I've got the paper from school. I have just been confirmed at the University of Chichester for musical theatre and film acting. I'm like not going to check the results because I just want to kind of be happy with the fact I've got in and like let that sink in first. I'm so happy guys. So University of Chichester, if any of you guys are going, let me know. So we're headed into school at 8.45 to get there for about like 9.30. I'm just hoping that none of my teachers like tell me my results whilst I'm there because that's going to be so awkward. I'm going to put some trousers on because currently I'm still in my PJ bottoms and I'm just going to sit and wait to go to school. It's going to be a little bit tedious waiting to open my results but I just don't want to open them on iSounds because I feel like that's just not, not the way I want to do it. Okay. Not too much. We're headed off to school. Okay guys. I've got the trusted envelope. I spoke to my music teacher before I left and he said that I am going to be disappointed in music and he said that he's disappointed in it as well. So, as in not in me, but like in the grade in general. So we haven't got high hopes. I'm very nervous. Literally everyone in school was upset about their grades. Okay, I got a distinction in performing arts. I was expecting that. All the stuff about Karina. Right. I got a C in music. I was like really hoping for a B, but I'm kind of already prepared for it since you told me. But <laughs> I got an A star in psychology. I don't even know how I did that. I got an A star. Look at that. The thing is, I'm like disappointed with music that I can't even appreciate the fact that I just got an A star in psychology. So we got A star, A, C. I am disappointed with music not with psychology obviously i'm really happy about psychology but it's hard to enjoy it when like there's one grade that you just had so much hope for just hasn't gone your way so currently we're headed out to get some lunch and um, we're going to a local italian which we've been to since i was like a tiny baby it's almost like an institution <laughs> yeah it's like been there forever so that's where we're going now because the sun is just not not coming out today Hey guys, we made it to lunch. Mother was worrying about us being one minute late and not having a table. That was awkward. As I was vlogging, the waiter came. Yeah, she was worried about not having a table. Look at all the tables behind us. Anyways, I'm happy because they've got penne arabiata. So at least that's like the only good thing I've got in my life right now. So we're gonna have that. <laughs> Guys, I haven't spoken to you in a while, but we're back home after having lunch. I'm in my PJs again. It's just really mushy outside. Um, but kind of accepting the fact that I've got a C now and letting it like. So I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the night. I'm gonna do like a proper self care night tonight because I need like a good old shower, do all of that stuff because I haven't done it in a while. Mm -hmm. 